a uh, page four. I'll remember the title of the book in a moment. Oh yes, always fair and loving parking meters. Life is is fucking irony. Santiago looked around to see if anyone was listening. Billy kind of flicked him a little and said, Yeah, yeah, sure. Billy whistled through his teeth while focusing on flies landing on beer mugs. Double-crossed life and death was the excuse for Santiago to drink, or at least that is the lie he told himself. He was still alive when he should be dead, and those who deserved living were rotting secretly in rice paddies on the other side of the world. He settled for surviving and braining himself so he couldn't remember. That was it, the sum total. In 1974, he ran away from Nixon's America and the curse that was still going on in Vietnam. He jumped a freight ship to Scotland and met Leila and Glasgow a few months later. The birth of their daughter a year later almost convinced them he could live again until they moved to the island. He flicked his memory back and thought of the second time he found Martina in 1986 and all of the catastrophes that followed. He could see Martina. He heard her voice, always that teasing voice, testing him. She was a bitch from hell. But damn, he would do anything to see her again. His thoughts settled onto her face, but it was blurred. It pushed the thought of her image into darkness. Maybe she was just a myth thought of the island again. There has to be more to life than this. I gotta do something special. Why not? Hell, man, half a century, Santiago said. Yada, yada. The flies had become fascinating, the building. Santiago slapped his beer bottle as though it had insulted him and he smashed it on the floor. He screamed, It's not here! The buzzy room went completely silent and all eyes turned to the bar. Good night, Santiago. Go home and sleep it off, Billy said. Oh, come on, just one more. Billy pointed at the swinging doors and said in a flat voice, I'm not telling you again. Santiago slid off the bar stool and wavered on his feet. Yeah, I didn't want to be here anyway. The customers began whistling and clapping as he stumbled out onto the street. Page four, I think. Just keep up with it somewhere in there.